Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press. We're now outside 40 Foley Square, where minutes ago, Ghislaine Maxwell was sentenced to 20 years in prison, five years of supervised relief, and a $750,000 fine. Now, it went for quite a while. Um, there was a lot of disputes around the pre-sentencing report and the guidelines. Actually, the guidelines got got chiseled down to uh, 188 to 235. Uh, Judge Nathan went above it at, two, at 240, 20 years. Um, she said that it was a, clearly an ongoing conspiracy. She said that the message had to be sent uh, about those who assist predators. Um, some people wanted there to be more. Um, there was some very uh, moving de- uh, victim testimony. Sarah Ransom, people basically describing their lives destroyed for like decades while Ghislaine Maxwell continued to gallivant around. She didn't, as Judge Nathan said, express remorse. She said, I note that the victims are here and I, you know, they're very brave. She basically said Jeffrey Epstein was a terrible person. She never said, accepted responsibility or remorse. Now, it is her right to appeal, and I believe that she will be appealing, but she also will not be released uh, pending that appeal, it certainly seems. Now, we've also covered the UN angle of it, and in the middle of all this, we asked today, see, the United Nations, long after it was known that Epstein, through the Florida case, had been, uh, was a pedophile and that she was connected to him and procuring for him, the UN let Ghislaine Maxwell have a press conference inside the UN for a Terramar project, and worst, perhaps, of all, Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General, had one of only five people on the board of the Terramar Foundation. This is an organization well known for sexual abuse of children through peacekeepers, but they they do it high to low, and this was the high. So high, in fact, that Antonio Guterres had inner city press thrown out as it asked about it, and today refused all questions about it. In fact, in the UN briefing room was a UN correspondent who did a fundraiser with Ghislaine Maxwell. You can find that video on Inner City Press and you'll see and see the story. We live tweeted it at Inner City Press and we also have a book out, booklet called Maximum Maxwell. To be continued.